Every time something happens that is tragic, it seems earth-shaking, that we don't like, we think the end is near. God is coming. He foretold it. But the people in Jesus' time thought that too. But Jesus is telling them that they need patience and perseverance. We must persevere through it. And not just get through it, but prosper. Jesus is telling us in the gospel today where he's, obviously he's telling them that as he is going away and he will not come back for a time, yet he gives us treasures. He gives us the faith. And it's our job not just to keep it, but to grow it, to nurture it despite the attacks that will come our way. This is our Catholic faith. There must be a response. We must do something with what we have been given. This is the whole point of the gospel. Some others believe that we are given faith and that's enough. Well, this is a direct refutation of that. We are given faith, but it must do something in our life. It must show itself in our, in our actions, even amidst the trials and the arrows that will sling at us. Because, brothers and sisters, the end is not yet here. We may wish it, we may want it. It is not. It would be wonderful if the end happened right after we went to confession. It would be wonderful if the end happened right after we were baptized. Because then we knew that the kingdom perhaps would be open to us. But it is not. We must persevere. We hear a lot about the end of the world these last couple weeks. And we're going to hear about the end of the world the first couple weeks of Advent. Why is that? Because no matter when it is, we must be prepared. And if we are, it doesn't matter when it's coming. If we are with our God, he is giving us entryway into his heavenly kingdom. If we are not, we hear the consequences, brothers and sisters. Man, let's be with him. Let's produce that good fruit and those gold coins with interest so that we are welcomed into the heavenly kingdom. This is a direct warning, brothers and sisters. Let's take it seriously and live it. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Please stand.